Howdy everyone. Annie's 20. It is... Oh, I don't... I can't see the thing. Uh, here we go. April 19, 2019. And, uh, oh, it's a 6... 18pm? Gosh, this... It's been a week since we streamed anything. It feels like so much longer for some reason. This week felt like it took forever. Wow. So what were we doing? I know we have to go to Gla Glaven Basin because the character's like, oh, we we have all the trial stuff. We, we, uh, domains, uh, I mean, uh, Saray's more powerful. His domain's more powerful. So maybe we should go take on... What's his name? We won't lose to you. Yeah, that was it, right? Yeah. But they didn't 100% know where to go, so they're like, "Well, let's just go where he was last, just Glavin Basin." Yeah. All right, the peacock feathers. That's what we were gonna do. So that's where we'll start. Now I remember, yeah, this side quest that we needed to do to get that uh, Earth and Historia. Shouldn't be too bad. I say that now. from your level of reserve. He said he's a real weak. Not surprised. There's probably a peacock in here or something. I can smell herbs nearby. Much like the herb and treasure and monolith detection, there's another skill that helps find Norman, and that's, uh, that's Edna's. I don't have it on, and I'm like, well, I don't really need it. Then I'm like, well, maybe I will need it. Because, you know, I'm, I'm still missing a few Norman. It's not like anything massive, but could help. What's this? My instincts tell me that there's treasures nearby. It's standing right in front of it, Saray. Maybe your instincts could tell you like five seconds earlier. That'd be great. a thing for stuff that curls up into little balls. I know, it's weird. A curlist strives to achieve the perfect sphere. In other words, physical realization of one of nature's ideal forms. Which means a sloppy curl is an insult to Mother Nature. Ah, I think I kind of get it. Like spiral shells and stuff, right? They're cute. Rose! Look out, Rose. You're playing with fire. So you do get it! Wait, what? Particularly the sublime curl of the turban snail. It's pure mathematics. I could gaze at it for hours. Sure, and like egg rolls are totally yum. Oh, and round steak? Mmm. Yes! Rose, let's start a curlist club. Just you and me. We'll call it the curling circle. Yes, and our motto can be the only thing we have to sphere is sphere itself. We've lost her. I'll quarantine them, you warn the others. What the hell just happened there? 
I always thought that uh, Lila's things in regards to curling only like took place in battle conversations when you encounter the enemy types. Forgot they were skits, so that makes more sense now that I think about it. Assuming there's as many as I think there are, I'm not sure. So the little thing that has me worried right now is that OBS is reading dropped frames. Through the opening sequence of the game, it read 71, and now it's at 83. Which isn't a lot of frames, all things considered, but I really hope it doesn't continue. Because if it does, I will stop the stream and edit it somehow. I mean, I haven't really changed much since I started streaming. Uh, the only thing I... Saray. The only thing I changed is that I bumped down the uh, the bitrate. Um, it was it was 2000 for Elgato, and now that I'm using OBS, I bumped it down to 1900. I bumped it back up to 2000 though because I'm like, well, why not? But it was gonna give me too much issues. I, I might as well just bump it back down. I don't know. Once again, it just started. So it's at 83. That's 0.4 percent of all frames so far have been dropped. Not even one percent. So as long as that number keeps getting lower, that's nothing to worry about. Is that a treasure yes, chest? It is. So is this one. Two chests, alright? Two. Uh, no point in fighting you guys, you're also weak. Weak and helpless. And round. Here. Cheesecake. Yeah, why does Dazzle just X like sweets? Really? Come on, dude. Oh, there's a peacock. Ah, oh, tea-flavored chiffon cake is simply divine. I could eat it all day. You sure like chiffon cakes, huh? Yes, I've liked them ever since I was young. It's also fun to make them too. You'd make a cake and then eat it by yourself? Isn't that kind of weird? You don't know. Girls always have room for sweets. Hey, why are you poking me? Because you didn't know that. I was just That's gonna say fault? something to that extent. If girls really get in the mood for it, they can easily eat like ten chiffon or butter cakes after dinner. You can't be serious. But it's actually doable, isn't it, Edna? Even you, Lila? But if you do that, you'll gain weight. Ouch! Finish that sentence and you're gonna get it. You're already giving it to me. Well, she'll give it to you harder, I guess. Yeah, there's a the peacock. I remember. I remember this. With any luck, it's not gonna be that hard. Actually, you know, what? let me switch back to to Saray. I saw just the dazzle just for fun, but you know. Hey, bird. Don't Level thirty-seven. It resists earth and the wind, and also void attack. I don't like it. I'll pluck out all its feathers. Why even bother? Sometimes even sheep wonder will cut. Well, sheep are different. Are they? Guys, dang, it does will chill out. Ready? Died. But we're no pushovers either. Alright, it wasn't that bad. Yeah. Could have been worse. I got the PK. Uh, where were we taking them to? I think it was. Uh, Marlin, the place that was once Plague City. It's no longer Plague City. Defeating powerful enemies will give you a correspondingly high amount of grade. In particular, if you defeat them while well using items, your grade will go through the roof. It may sound like a challenge, but the reward is... Uh, given that, like, 200 grade I got from my other fight, yeah. Not using items is, like, amazing for grade. I sense treasure nearby. Poison ward. Lock chest. Let's do this! Ready? 
What's up, man? I miss Demon Sight. Um, hi. I don't think I remember you. Sorry. I, I, not your fault. I don't stream a lot, or at least I didn't. I streamed like once, super long ago. Then I stopped for a while. Then I, I actually did some consistent streams for maybe a month, and then I stopped again for like years. So, if you were on any one of my old streams, sorry about that. Uh, I don't remember. It's just been so long. But uh, hey man, it's always cool to have someone around. Alright. How do? So I guess I could just quick jump back to Marlin, right? You were just waiting for me to pick you up, weren't you? Maybe there's another thought of those kids. Miss Maven, Rose, you. Anything that could be useful here? Logren. Ah, the great camo upgrades. Let's do it. What's Logren? I don't remember that. Logren. Have we been there? I'm legit confused. Towns. Dungeons. Fields. No, I don't think we've been to Logren yet. All right, where are we going now? Back to Marlin, right? Well, I'm definitely not gonna walk all the way over there. As much as I hate how expensive the quick jump is, it's just more useful. All right, here we are. Need to talk to that informant about whatever it is that he's informing. He was the one at the library, I believe. That's where he was. Yeah, the bridge indeed has been fixed. I walked on it. It's very nice. It's definitely a bridge. What even are you doing all the way out here, man? Isn't that a little weird? And now they want me to go back to Lady Lake. Oh, great. I'm trying to remember if there was a uh, like a unique because I that's the other thing I want to do this this playthrough I want to kill all the unique strong monsters. I just don't know like where they all are obviously. And also there's a thing I can only think of one off the top of my head, so I'm not sure if it happens again. But there is a there is a place that you go to at uh, early in the game, and there's no monster there obviously because it would destroy you. But when you return to that place, it's there now. So it's um. The first dungeon of the game, where you start in, uh, you can go back to the room that Saray and Mikleo fell into when they, when uh, the ground below them gave way, and there's a unique monster that I killed it. Um, I just wonder if that was a unique case, or if there are other locations in the game that didn't have monsters, but when you revisit them, they do now. Is that your sword style? Pretty cool. Well, I had a lot of practice with Miklia. bit my lip a bit. I was like, eh. This was a lot easier to run back. I mean, I could save point travel back to Lady Lake, but it's literally next door. It's 
So the in this whole region, the unique enemy was the bird, which we took out and got so much grade for. And the next map over, the unique enemy there was the dog, which we also took out. Looks like victory all around. What else? I don't think there was a unique monster in the Spirit Crest. If there is, I don't remember. I doubt it though. Let's see. The Galahad Ruins. I don't think there's any in the shrines. Should go back to the Galahad Ruins and see what's up. Maybe they did add one there now. Sorry, but I was trying to click on some. All right. So, which way we run? The aqueduct. All right, so we're here. Stop. Over here somewhere. The shepherds. Yeah, yeah. We already know all this gossip. Don't care. We did our due diligence. We're good. I do like being able to talk to your companion and have them have a bunch of information. It's a good way to keep track of like side quests and stuff. Don't move. You are under arrest for leaking confidential info. Looks like Alicia came to the same conclusion. She beat us to the punch. What is the meaning of this? I'm sorry. This is just a misunderstanding. Please take your leave, Princess. This is... Don't make excuses. I found evidence of connections to Rolands in this very residence. Renovations for Grifflet Bridge, order forms of military arsenal, unauthorized transactions for... That is simply a reward for his support. Support? Logos is an important person who connected Rolands and Highland through unofficial diplomacy. What does that mean? On the surface, diplomacy between Highland and Rollins has been cut. He must have been negotiating with them on his own for some time in secret. So then he's not a spy, but a liaison. Meaning even with the war going on, there's been work done. <sighs> Such is politics. This is a major problem. If the channel gets blocked, both countries will fight until they're both obliterated. But no one ever told me anything about it. Of course they didn't. Not to someone like you. I hope you're prepared to pay for your indiscretion. In any case, we must change our strategy. We will be expecting your sincere apology at a later date. Understood. That's right, there's a ladder there for a reason. Like, how's that for a side quest? No rewarding ending here. Like, seriously. Anyway, uh, this is one of those shepherds, right? I mean, I know it says the description, I didn't read it.
Memories of days gone. That was killer, Lila. You were in perfect harmony. He was quite skilled despite his youth. Yeah, compared to him, you still got a long way to go. Lila, I wish I could go on a journey like that with you. Saray, excuse you, Saray. Huh? Yes, this journey now is every bit as enjoyable as it was back then. Thanks to everyone here. So I guess the previous shepherd only had one Sarah. If what I'm rem remembering is correct, I don't believe there was anyone else hanging out with him. Didn't have any need for sublords. He was that cool. So they say. I don't know. I wonder what happened to Alicia. Let's go to her house. Oh, this will be fun. I thought the quest was over. Oops. I don't know how that happened. I I put the controller down on my on my leg and it opened the menu. That makes any sense. If anything, the only button that hit was R2. Yeah, I'm doing it again. It's not opening the menu, so I don't know what that was. I made it. I wasn't even looking at the screen. Saray, wait. How did it go? Fortunately, we were able to prevent rumors from spreading. Though in the end, I did have to prostrate myself. That must have been hard. <laughs> Don't worry, it's fine. I did go a bit too far after all. The Difta family has been surviving as a branch of the Imperial family. But my mother was born to normal citizens, and was later courted on a whim by my father. So everyone forgave me and assumed it was natural I didn't follow politics. Milady! And so... <laughs> that's why I wanted to do the right thing. <laughs> I wanted to gain acceptance from everyone in honor of my late father and mother. <laughs> was I wrong in the end? I shall... Go fetch some more tea. Let's leave her alone just for a moment. Right. Just for a moment. Yeah, there we go. Just, uh, yay, that quest ended well. We're not gonna be seeing Alicia again for a long time. So we had to go back to Glaven, but I kind of want to stop by Galahad just to see if there's anything in there. So we're going to do that first, and then after that we'll head to Glaven to continue the story. Because uh, based off what Rose is saying, it doesn't look like we have any pressing matters. Like no quests and stuff that we can do right now. A lot of it requires going to the Great Camelot Bridge, and I might as well wait until the story wants me to go to the Great Camelot Bridge before I head there. Uh, it won't be too far, I don't think so. Some say he seems dodgy. Yeah, that's what I thought the point was, but it turns out that he was being dodgy in a good way and no one knew. Or, well, Alicia didn't know. No one saw fit to tell him. Tell her. Nice. That's politics. I believe that's what someone said. I mean, yeah, the fight is over. On the left and on the right, basement two. 
That's where we want to go. I know I already fully explored this place, but it's like, what if there was something blocking my way? I don't think there is. Let's do some fortune tally. Don't have time. We're on the clock. Oh, I must have not hit that up before. Not like it mattered, it didn't give me a skid anyway. After me, so I wanted to do that so <laughs> just as I thought. Worthless. Wait, okay. Just wanna double check, make sure there was no like sealed off room or anything. Alright, this section is uh, sealed off indeed. And I walked right into it. What's this? Oh, it's gold. Okay, I didn't realize that. I never realized that they're gold until I'm right in front of them. Looks like we win. Seraphim and humans can coexist will come. No. That's definitely not the point of this game. It's absolutely not gonna happen. I don't know, maybe? That's a better answer. Are there any herbs around here? Yeah, I already got him, Saray. You're a little slow on the uptake, aren't you? I was really hoping to keep my ex boosted speed up, but I ran to that fight right after I, right after it ran out, so useless. Oh yeah, right in front of me. Oh no, that was a secret door. I thought it was like a gate or something. Because as it shows in other areas, other dungeons, there are gates, like bars, and uh, you can get through them with devil power. And on the map, they look like that, like, uh, thin lines separating two sections of the map. They didn't stand a chance. Wow, okay. Nothing here at all. I don't know, I thought they would have added... I was clearly the star of that battle. It's easiest to notice the dimmer stars when they shine, they say. Seems like there's always at least one character that looks great with glasses on. Although I think most everyone looks good with them, but Edna looks nice, and uh, I think what was his name? Actually, in a uh, in Vesperia, Rita rocks them really well. I mean, it's kind of fitting. You would think that Rita would already have them on. It's easy to forget. I played with her with the glasses on like the entire game, 
So, like, in some cutscenes when she didn't have him, I was like, oh, right, that's not actually her thing. It's like with the, uh, Mystic Art art, Mystic Art art, where it, like, shows her, uh, her face, and I'm like, oh, right, yeah, she doesn't wear them. Silly me. This was a waste of time. But what does one expect? Saray, you're definitely improving more. Yep, thanks to all of you. Thanks to us, indeed. Well, every little bit helps. Yes, Miklil, you only help a little bit. Nothing more. All right, let's get out of here. I really did think that there would be something more. I'm surprised this didn't trigger a skit. I think it probably actually did back when you originally came through this area. But because I skipped it back then, it doesn't happen again with the different squad. Because they've, I mean, you remember this is when Miklio wasn't with us because he and Saray had that fight. But who knows? Alright then, so we're gonna head back to Glaven Basin, right? So let's, uh, bye bye place things. Don't need anything else. Yeah, there's a lot of places. Like, not a lot actually. There's like a few dungeons I wanna actually get into because, like, they're a bonus and I never explored them fully before. That smell. So, a good example was, uh,. And actually the last explorable area in the game, the swamp that I mentioned a few times. There's a dungeon over there that I'm 99% sure I never even went. Like, I went into it to mark the dungeon. So it shows up on the map and it says, hey, this place is here. But I didn't actually do anything in there. So I'm kind of excited. I doubt it's anything super special, but... I want to go into the other ones right now, but I have a feeling that if I try to do that, they'll just... I don't know if they'll be too hard, but... Uh, maybe the boss at the end. Might be a bit much. How do I open the world map again? Here we go. Okay. Let's see if I can find them. Oh, hey, the crucibles. So, which one's this? Oh, Apri Hunting Ground and the Meadow of Triumph. Oh, yeah, Saray and. and. Roses. And there they are, completed. A Weaponsmith. The inns, the towns, here we are, the dungeons. Galahad, boars. We did that one, Tintagel. Within Vulgren Forest. Oh, that was the one that that we. Rose's Hideout, that's where it was before, I do believe. Gepharis. North of Pendrago, believed to be a crypt for ancient noble families. Alright, yeah, that one's fine. Gefaris. I don't think we've done that one yet. Or did I? Let me think. I think that's the one that ended with the scorpion thing. That I had to retry a few times. Because there was no boss in Tintagel. There was no... There was a boss in Boris. It was a story thing. Boss in Galahad for story. Mount Mabinogio was the beginning, so it doesn't matter. Okay, so yeah, 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 we did get Ferris, so that's fine. Egrain, Waelish. Didn't do this one. Gang Ganglin? Didn't do that one. Okay, then yeah, yeah. So we'll revisit those for sure. Already fought those enemies, already fought those. Yeah, yeah, okay. So Waelish is at Avery's Hunting Ground, and Ganglin is in Western Bolt Gorge. Yeah, this is the one that we saw when we were going to the Trial of Earth. And this one we saw we were going to try to win. So yeah, we'll definitely stop by those. We could probably do one right now. Since I don't want to do story yet because of my main viewer in here, so... We'll head to one of them. Uh... Which one was first? The Earth one? Well, I did go to the Earth trial first, so I guess I'll go to that one. Shrine of the Earth Trial. Yeah, that's where we'll go. Oh, that's bad. Mm -hmm. 
This has us back in. forgot about that completely. Yeah, um, let's not do that. Damn it, I just wasted save, po save point travel again. Ah, oh, fucking hell. I guess we gotta do the story first. Ready, and once again, the, the, the trials were done in whatever order you wanted, so if I really wanted to go to the wind ruins first? I could. I don't think like it'll be any more harder than the earth one now, but Saray, how long have you known Dezel? Huh? About as long as you, I guess. You don't sound too sure. Did you just meet him recently? Well, I guess. Kind of recently. I can't stay. Well too bad, Dezel. Until you come clean, no one's gonna take you seriously. Alright, so yeah, we'll 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 just uh Put a, we'll put a pin in that and head back to Glaven Basin. We'll, we'll handle things over there instead. Because, uh, oopsie daisy. I completely forgot about that. I, I didn't, actually. I was... One of the reasons I wasn't sure if we should do the Earth Trial first anyway, because I... I assumed that they'd... You know what? We'll just worry about that when we worry about it. Alright. So, uh, how much money is this going to cost me now? To go back to Lady Lake or whatever. Where is it? Or Lake Haven Heights. Falkwin Hillside, that's where I want to go. 2,500? Not too much. Do a bit more fighting and then we'll head back over there. Oops. Are they weak to fire? Oh no, they're not. They're weak to win. That's a really dumb move. I always hated fighting these fairy things anyway. There we go. That wasn't too close, like in a bad way, but you know, do what you do. Could have gone worse. Could have gone worse. I right, want to stay near the save point so we can warp out of here. Might as well fight, do some training, get some money. I would have rather done the the side ruins, but look, what happens? I guess the only downside to exploring the ruins now is coming across uh, gold chests and not being able to open them because I don't have a gold key but like I mean it's not that big a deal oh uh, hey Pete back from Dindin Din. die yeah I was gonna do I was actually gonna do like some more side stuff because that's all I've been doing so far but uh Stuff kind of interrupted it. Stuff interrupted the side stuff. So we're just gonna do story right away. 
I somehow got stuck here, so we'll just uh training and then we'll redirect. Delish delish, not surprised. Ooh, I saw a big guy. There he is. I like fighting the big guys. They're not that tough. Then again, I could just be stronger. Because this was the second trial we did out of all four. Now scratch that, we're gonna do a side ruin. We're gonna head to the bonus ruins in near the Shrine of Wind, near the Wind Trial. We're going over there. I wanted to do the Earth one, but I was unable to, so we're gonna do the Wind one. Um, what's that area called? That's called Westron Bolt Gorge. In front of Crucible Malevolence. In front of the Ganglion Ruins, there it is. So that's where we're gonna go. I originally wanted to do the ones here in the Earth place, but that's okay. We'll do the Earth one later. We'll do some bonus ruin exploration. So this is going to be fun. Because these places get a little labyrinthian. Not too much, but just a little bit. Just enough to, to kind of drive you nuts. Don't even try it. You'll just injure yourself. So, by the way, how's everything sound since you just got here? Oh, here we go. Water. So, what's the water move again? This one, right? Nice. See, the door behind me is locked. I think I, I think this wall only opens up from the other side. That's okay. Yeah, yeah, sound good. Good, good, good. Anyway, the more levels, the better. It'll definitely help for moving forward. And hopefully not get me stuck on bosses too much. Granted, I don't really get stuck on bosses. I get stuck I get stuck on everything but the story bosses. Mainly the uh, bonus bosses and shit. Uh, the side stuff, that's what gets me stumped. Oh, there we go. Staircase. Let's ignore it for now, though. Oh yeah, there we go. Wind. Those are the bars I was talking about. Tell me that there's treasures nearby. Oh yeah, right. October. I remember you now. Good times. Is it? Alright. I open that other, yeah I did, okay. How about this? Nope, didn't open that one. It opens from the other side as well. So confusing having, uh, quite a few dungeons do this actually, where they have a bunch of, wait what? It, oh, it doesn't open at all, it's just a dead end. Okay. I, mi <laughs> I misunderstood that one. So is this one just a dead end? Whoa, something fell from the ceiling. Nice. Chess, treasure. Yay, treasure. Is that a treasure chest? Apple gel, not bad. 
I mean, it's about as simple as can get. It's like opening a treasure in like a Final Fantasy game, getting a potion. Sometimes you need that though. Hard to lose when facing such wimps. Right, so I guess this isn't its path? I thought it was, I guess not. The other one definitely is, but it comes back up from the bottom. Which is really handy. I like games that like they give you quick ways out of deep places because it just gosh dang. You don't wanna you don't wanna backtrack. Alright, so that's the first floor explored. I think every single chest that I found was openable. So that's good. Oh boy, I don't like this. That looks green, but it's not opening. That coined me one thing, it's actually yellow. Yep. Remember that used to confuse me a lot. I sense treasure nearby. It was very like back I don't remember when. Yay. Finish. Honey barbecue sauce, Would I think. Like awesome. I put that on everything. It's very good. Honey barbecue is good. Oh my gosh, camera, why you do this? Think I could use it too? You can try, but don't get carried away with it. Hey, it's totally fine letting Stray use it. It's probably because he's just gonna use it and he's probably gonna give it to Stray and then sit back and wait for Stray to knock himself in the head with it. I, I, I'd believe that. I totally think Dezel would do that. Dezel's that kind of guy. I don't want to go downstairs again. Oh, that was cool. That move was awesome. That spinning fire sword thing. Nice. Up. Oh, damn it. Unless you're saying that means that you're tired, but uh, we'll stop by and then when we're done here. I think y'all can wait. And then we'll go somewhere else. Alright, Glaven Basin, right? I keep forgetting that. Because I'm thinking ahead to like a different place to go for later. Chest! What's this? Swordbreaker. Alright, I should have taken some time to. Nah, I'm not gonna do that. I think everyone's performing pretty well, so I don't need to worry about re-equipping them. Also, I don't want to, so I'm not gonna. That's a very strong thing. Everybody tired. Yeah, well, they can wait. They can wait. They'll get their food when I get my food. Which is never. 
So we went down there before, we're on the third floor. And now, gosh dang. Look at all this crap. Alright, so... Is there a fourth floor? But why? You should never have four floors. My instincts tell me that there's treasures nearby. We're here to purify you, but it'll still hurt. <laughs> 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 Your sword style self taught? Yep. Yeah, it is, and then you mock him about it, but you're not actually mocking him about it, and it confuses Edna. Edna only knows one language, and that's the language of mockery. Ow, my eyes. Is that a so blinding. Chest? Howdy. I sense treasure. Can't ignore that guy. So I was able to get over to this to this staircase, which I hope the fourth floor is the final floor. So before we uh, head over that way, let's go back to the middle and see if that. I, for it, assuming that the trend is correct, and so far we haven't been able to reach the other exit, we won't be able to reach this one either. I just want to check to make certain. Also, see if there's any other treasures anywhere. Yep. All right. I was right. I just followed the recipe. Should be fine. He kept running away and the camera kept following it. I was like, get back here, let me kill you, you stupid snake. We'll take a breather when we're dead. Not a moment before. I can't remember what the boss of this place was. I mean, I don't even remember if I actually explored this place before. I think I did. Well, regardless of what I did or didn't, I don't. I doubt I'd even remember what the boss was. Some weird enemy, maybe a giant soldier. That's what I'm gonna say right now, like a soldier type enemy. That's what I'm going with. See if I'm right and wrong. Here we are. This is uh, the fourth floor. Nope. There's still one more. Hopefully, one more. Fifth floor. Is this actually wind or is this still earth? That, is that... Is that yellow? I slammed into my mic. Sorry about that. It really doesn't look yellow. What's this? Calling bullshit. Oh, this goes down, so that's to the fifth floor. I don't want to. It's a great choice to come here. Then again, that was totally green. Yeah, that's the second one in this dungeon I've seen. I remember having that issue when I first played the game because I, I skipped by the green doors. 
because I I thought they were like I kept running into it with Dazzle's power and it wouldn't open. So I'm like I guess I guess I need to unlock something different in order to get through there, like a new Dazzle power or something. I don't know, but it wasn't working. Um, and the issue with that is that it then blocks off those doors for when you're trying to come back up from the bottom. And it was like, nope, it's just that it was yellow. I think it's only hard to tell in this type of dungeon with this like color scheme and palette. Because it looks green. The other dungeon thing is more obviously green and more obviously yellow. This one though, totally not obvious. went around in the full circle and then we'll so th then what does this one lead to why there's so many ways like they're the ways up which obviously is the ways back up so what are all the ways down for and what's this for there's nothing in here weird I couldn't even get to the other room. Okay, never mind then. Okay, this better be the last floor. We better be done here. Yep, this is the bottom, the fifth floor. Because it just loops the rack around and takes us back up to the fourth floor. Good. Goodness, goodness. So what'd you eat for dinner anyway? Something tasty? Probably. Said it was. I'm looking forward to eating myself. Is that a treasure chest? Got a pipe. Alright. No biggie. Ooh, fried shrimp and rice. That sounds good. Reminds me when I get it from Chinese. I get some really good stuff from Chinese. Oh, I want Chinese. Oh, I want Chinese. Ask my sister about that. She wants some. I don't know. Right, this one's definitely green. Yep. I was right about that one. Sounds really good, Pete. You got me wanting Chinese, and I don't like it. I sense treasure nearby. This is why I have trust issues. Seriously, the work was, uh, I just gotta th work, man. So exhausting. Today was just, today and yesterday, I don't know why, just really exhausting days. I said I was disappointed yesterday because yesterday was so busy and like so stressful. It was like, I wish that I had the day off because I wish that yesterday was the end of my week. And so it was like, Fate decided, well then let's give him another stressy day so that it feels like he's earned the time off. And I'm like, no, I don't want that. Yeah, I think it's time to take a breather somewhere. See, I was just very busy today.
What's this? Peach jelly. Golden bands. But um, that other place, that other. Also, I just realized that the, I got a pipe from the dungeon. That's uh, that's like cosmetic stuff you can put on the characters. And I already had that one, which means I already beat this place. I thought, I assume, uh, it definitely feels a little familiar. But yeah, I definitely did. As for the one near the Earth Dungeon, I don't know if I can see to that one. And the ones in the rest of the world, in the desert world, and in, in the desert area, and in the swamp area, I don't know. So I'm looking forward to trying that. Knock it off! I think kind of a, I just realized something. Every so often, the character will pull off a new art, and I'm like, "Whoa, that's new!" And I just realized that this game doesn't like it tells you when the character learns a new art. It says, "Oh, so and so learned a new art," but it doesn't tell you what the art is, and it also doesn't give you a demo, which I love about Tales games. In Tales games, when you learn a new art, the game like freezes, and it focuses on the character, and they glow, and they announce their new art, and they use it, and it's super cool. This game doesn't have that. I just realized that like right now. Kind of surprised, honestly. All right, so here we are. We made it to the end. The boss is in here. Is it a soldier? Is it a? <laughs> this is like Mega Man style entrance. Two doors. If only you could pose before you go through. Here we go. What is it? Oh, yes. I remember this. Okay, I do remember this. I did do this before. Boss troll. Little 53. Holy crap. We're dead. Whoa. The troll looks like a boss. How astute of you. That's actually a boss troll. If it's called a boss, it must be a boss. That's what I was saying. Yeah. Now be careful, Okay, so what's he weak against? The only thing he doesn't resist is water, but he's not really weak to it. Jeez, he's big. This is a big boy. Are you freaking kidding me? How the heck did he do that? He was nowhere near me. I'm calling bullshit on that.
Yeah, he literally just bops us in the top of our head and we all die. Why is water the weakest one? So my water moves don't do anything to him at all. And everyone's dead. Damn it. I was guarding, but it didn't take. Damn it. Are you fucking kidding me? It's always when I almost win the fight that everything goes wrong. I was this close to winning. That troll looks like a boss. How astute of you. Alright, let's just heal right away. Since I already got bopped by something. Troll. If it's called a boss, it must be a boss. That's what I was saying. Yeah. Oh come on. I won't lose this time. Gotta be kidding me. I'm gonna do a quick save here so I don't have to keep waiting for these fucking doors to open. Also, I don't want to keep retrying this, so I'm gonna also do something uh, dumb, but I want to do it because I'm fucking sick of this. No, I don't want to load. Where's there we go? Boop. Drop it back down to normal difficulty. It's not in the mood to deal with this bullshit. I already won the fight. And then just out of nowhere he decided to take it away from me. So this isn't cheating, this is me being fuck you. Looking for a fight? Oh, oh, Whoa! That troll looks like a boss. How astute of you. It's time! Bye -bye. The storm is coming! With all my strength! I shall smite evil! You go to my Landing Mystic Arts sometimes is really hard. That was pretty good, Shorty. Being big is for losers. Big losers. There we go. That time I did it. No cheating. My instincts tell me that there's treasures nearby. 
Look at all these treasure chests. I'm rich. Is that a treasure chest? I sense treasure nearby. Those last ones will have to wait. Yep, and now I can open these doors from the opposite side. So I can uh, quick travel Somehow. back down here. If I want to. That which uh, I was like, will I want to? But yeah, when I, when I get the gold key, I can come down the short way back to the bottom and get those gold chests. actually pretty decent relatively speaking I actually thought that was green once again I was like oops I used the earth move I should have used the air move door opens anyway shows how much I know and right, this one's definitely green I gave it a shot anyway we're done in here Dungeon complete. High fives all around. Let's go to Glaven Basin. Though I don't remember which side of Glaven Basin they wanted me to go to. I don't know if it was the Highland side or the Roland side. smell herbs nearby. They're still tired. Let's go stop at an inn, then we'll go to Glaven Basin. I totally forgot they were still tired. I feel bad. I can't forget him to go rest. It's gonna run them ragged at this rate. Being able to fuse equipment at the shop is really convenient to help prep for battle. Yes. It's amazing how even among humans, there are those who can extract the full potential of certain equipment like the divine artifact. Plus, it looks like we can fuse unneeded equipment together to breathe new use into them. 
I have some experience with this sort of thing as well. Although it may take time to get used to it again. Wow! Will I be able to do it someday? For those that don't possess the required innate qualities, I've heard that it feels like their nerve cells are getting sliced from the back of their heads. Oh. Well, that didn't sound very nice. Okay, now we're gonna go to Glaven Basin. Let's continue the story, yay! Who knows, I might consider ending the stream by exploring the other bonus dungeon. Or not bonus dungeon, the uh, ruins, the other ruins. Yeah, near the Earth Trial. Because I, I was gonna go to the Earth one, but when I spawned over there at Western Ball Gorge, the place was covered in darkness. Which meant uh, that's where Mr. Mr. Man was. Kitty Beard. Demise. Hell Doll. Whatever you want to call them. They all work. They want me to go to the rolling side? Why y'all tell me that now? You gotta be kidding me. I wasted money again. This game is just having a laugh with me right now, that's what it is. Maybe it tricked me into spending 3,000 more of my to get to the other side of Glavin Basin. I was like, what is that over there? It's just an enemy. Anyway, here we are. Story progress. That's the name of the game. Hey, the Sparrow Feathers. What are you guys doing here? Delivery confirmed. You Sparrow Feathers definitely know how to secure quality goods. Now, about our next order. Sorry, but something else has come up, actually. We hope to do business with you again, though. Felice, Talfrin. Boss, what perfect timing. Work? Yeah. We got... Hey! We got something we should discuss elsewhere. Come on over here. All right. We were approached by a secretary from the Rollins government. It looks like a job offer. What? Is this secretary the steward to the Emperor? That's right. Plus, we got some juicy info, too. It seems that the Queen of Rollins is making moves to adopt the child of her late brother. Interesting. The current Emperor is the son of the previous one, but the Queen wasn't the mother. Right. And she once conspired with her own son in an attempt to shift the line of succession to him. You remember how that all worked out. You can bet the Secretary hasn't forgotten either. Oh my gosh, all this lore means absolute Sounds jack fine. shit. I'll handle it. You're taking the job? You realize this client is our sworn enemy. Remember the creed of the Scattered Bones. If the job itself is a necessary one, it doesn't matter who the client is. That's what we stand for, isn't it? I suppose it is. Gosh, boss. I don't know what we'd do without you. And that's why I'm the boss. <laughs> anyway, how should we approach the client? We'll sneak into Pendrago Castle. 
Seriously? The client's probably too skittish to come meet with us personally, and a proxy won't do at all. I need to judge the client for myself. Got it. If we're headed for the castle, I better call up everyone. Don't worry. I'm going with her. There's some things a shepherd can't ignore. Huh? You sure? Is this okay, boss? Rose, it's looking like the Imperial family has somehow gotten mixed up with Hellions. We should go by ourselves. Talfrin, police. We'll go by ourselves. It'll be easier to get around that way. All right. Take care out there, boss. Saray, you watch over our boss now, you hear? We'll do. I feel kind of guilty, getting you all wrapped up in the affairs of the Scattered Bones. It's really okay. I should be there for you. All the more so if Hellions might be involved. Finally, it's time. Let's get going to Pendrago. Tezel, you're really going through with this? Better late than never. What's this about? You don't need to know. Oh, come on! Just tell me! Hey, cut it out! Get the hell off me! So get the answers out of you one way, Dazzle. Hey, can it, Pixie? Let's get moving. Dazzle, are there really Hellions in the Roland's Imperial family? You're slow to catch on. Go see for yourself. Oh, I was right. I think I know where we're going. Hey. Yes, Saray. I know. It's cool, guys. I love being kept in the dark. Sorry. I promise, just a little bit longer and we'll be able to explain. All right, if you say so. You know, Rose, you really should be more upset. That's how the game treats its players. There's a difference between being subtle and keeping and playing things close to the chest and then just straight up keeping someone in the dark, you know? It's like, it's the difference between Xenoblade Chronicles plot twists and this game. You know? For those who don't know, it, uh, or who don't remember, it was about um, the discussion the characters had with Dazzle after um, after Rose became a, uh, a, a, a squire and after Dazzle became a sublord. Um, they were talking to Dazzle why he wanted the Armada so bad and this and that. And he's like, he, there's a Hellion that he needs to kill. And uh, and all that stuff. And like, we can't let you kill a Hellion. That's, uh, you, don't, you don't kill, that's not how you do. He's like, but I'm gonna do. And uh, they told him that you won't do because uh, Rose and then uh, and all that. He's like, well, don't tell her. And it's okay, then we won't tell her, but then you won't do. But now he's like, I'm gonna do. So they're like, well, then we're gonna have to tell her if you're gonna do. But he's like, but, but I wanna do, I need to do. And so now he's gonna do. Does that make sense? Oh yeah, I also forgot. I need to say hello to other important people. S uh, what are they called? Not stalkers. Um, skulkers? No. What is it? Um, shy. Dang, I can't remember. I was talking to someone on, on my Discord. Uh, she said that she actually does watch some of my streams. I didn't know that. But I think that's because she doesn't have a Twitch account. Lurks. That's what she called herself, a lurker. She's a shy lurker. So to all the lurkers out there who watch the stream but don't comment because you don't have an account or because you don't want to, uh, hi. You're cool. I know I made a big deal about having people to interact with, and I love interacting with people. But if you don't want to interact, then that's totally cool too, you know? If if you if you'd rather just you know chill out and just watch and not say anything, that's that's uh, that's fair. Now we're gonna try to fight this thing again. It's the last of the ones that I'm well aware of that I haven't killed yet. 
the behemoth. Fire is the only thing that hurts it. Do you think you can defeat them? You can't beat them if you have that. If you're scared, just run away. We are indeed strong, but we can win if we try. It'd be better to dodge their attacks than defend. Think you can do it? Ow. It threw me very far. Oh, she has a good healing spell now. We won't lose to you. There we go, it's dead now. I cut up the heck out of the big boy. Finished! Would you like some? I'd like some pound kick. Who remembers that? Back from when Ego Raptor was funny. Good times. Alright. Yeah, let's keep going. <laughs> I like some pound kick. So when you're talking about like how you came up with your name and you mentioned like a Newgrounds enemy, I I've never seen that Newgrounds animation that you were talking about. Uh, but I've seen so many Newgrounds animations way back. Oh man, there were so many good ones. Of course, like Bowser's Kingdom, everything having to do with that. Freaking hilarious. Uh, that's Andrew Raskin and P.T. House's series. I don't know if you've ever seen it. If you haven't, you should. It's 10 episodes in a movie and it's amazing. And they also made a side episode uh, called Gandor's Kingdom, which is a Zelda parody. Fucking hilarious. I think the best Flash animation ever of all time, the best Sprite movie, was um... Super Mario Bros. Z. Like, oh my gosh, it's, it was so cool. No foe can stand in our way. I don't know if you remember. Oh yes, I'm so sad that ended. Yeah, it didn't end originally. Uh, it was still supposed to keep going. Uh, he had a whole arc. He had a whole bunch of arcs planned. I think he even had stuff What's planned this? after they defeated Mecha Sonic, like a whole second arc. And there was a ton of cool shit that he had ready here? to go. But then, like he, I think for the lit last episode, which they were invading the big, uh, the big airship, and uh, Mario, everyone got poisoned. And then it's like, who saves them? It turns into Luigi. It was um, he lost a bunch of that episode, and so he ended up uploading what he did have left of it. And that was the last episode of the show. And then he revived it some years later. A few years ago, I don't remember when, and uh, he did the whole a new take on the first episode, and he was gonna do more. The issue is that Alvin Orphorm is a bit of a freak. I personally don't like him as a person, even though he's a great animator and uh, and uh, Tamara Rizzi is awesome. But uh, he gets really pissed off at how companies treat gamers, and while I understand why it annoys him, he takes it a little too far. And uh, he just, he hates Nintendo so much because of Nintendo's copyright policies. And so when he uploaded uh, the new episode of Super Mario Bros. Z, apparently, I don't know if it got copyright or something went down with it because he was using it on Nintendo's characters and all that stuff. And he just threw this whole big hissy fit about it and canceled the series again. So, uh... Yeah, so I think the only revived episode is the first one. I don't even know if it's still available. But he just, you know... He's a bit of a brat. And by a bit, I mean he's a major brat. I've never been the biggest fan of Alvin Earthworm as a person. Uh, the same goes for... Uh, Matt Like Swords. The, uh, the creator of the epic... Epic Battle Fantasy series. I don't know if you've ever played those. Those are so fucking awesome. Those are some of the most fun games ever, but he's a freaking asshole. I don't know, I, just, I don't like him. But the more I read about him and learned about him and just saw the way he treats people and talks to people, not cool. And there's no respect there. And it really, it's, it's one of those things where you gotta separate the art from the artist, I know. 
You sure are It's just strange, hard to deal with, though. Really? Definitely weird. You're also really... Not weird. Okay. Here we go. Return to Pendrago. Oh, there he is. Against the wall. I see him. Savid! Somehow I'm guessing this ain't a coincidence. Hi. Just a word of friendly advice. Leave your opponent this time to me. Don't mess with me, Zavid. I'm not messing with you, especially not now. You can listen to me or not, your choice. But I'm handling this either way. Like hell. Fair enough, Dezel. But just so you know, there's two people left that I've still got a score to settle with. And I didn't save these last two shots of mine just to throw them away. What are you even talking about? Mickey boy, when a man says he means business, he means business. Don't ever forget that! Now! Come at me! It's on! This is ridiculous! Too late. Too late now! Here goes! Gosh, I love Zabit's theme. It's so cool. He's level 42. Alright. Not letting an ass like you interfere with my plans. You're gonna have to beat this ass first before you can say that. Soren, I'm handling this. Don't you dare try to keep me out here. I don't really have a choice. You kind of forced yourself into my potty. What's he weak against? Nothing, but he resists earth and wind. Alright. I mean, obviously, he's a wind Sarah. Slumber! Nailed it. He was not ready for that. Damn, you're a lot better at this than you used to be. Hey, if you can't stop this fool from killing the Hellions, then try using this. Its power can stop malevolence from binding with people. Got it. I'll give you my very last shot. You can pay me back later. Why do this? <laughs> Hell if I know. <sighs> Go on ahead. Zavid needs a nap. Got a good chunk of grade. This thing sure it's is a weird. gun. Is that the thing Zavid gave you? He said that it's a tool that shoots out power. Yeah, and that's how he gets power to oppose the malevolence. So, if you shoot yourself, you gain more power. If you shoot someone with it, you sever their ties with the malevolence. So it's kind of like a bow that only fires arrows of pure It's a energy. gun! Is that it? These bullets have that kind of power? Presumably. And this is the last one, huh? Looks like it. Assuming we can't figure out how to make more. How about we take it apart and see if we can- No way. I know, I know. We probably wouldn't know how to put it back together if we did that. We need to treat it with care. It's obviously valuable. An arrow of force. No, I mean, we, we fought Zavid. That was actually the third time we fought Zavid now, and only the second time it was an actual battle that we could win. And uh, he, uh, oh hey, look, he's still here. He's sleeping. Yeah, he's he's always had his own path to go, but he's also the kind of guy who respects power above all. And when we beat him, he's kind of like he recognizes that we beat him. You know, he's like, all right, I'll chill for now. 
We'll have to wait for nightfall to sneak into the castle. Why don't we chill at the inn for a bit? Oh, you mean we're actually gonna go into the castle and we're actually gonna meet the royal family? One can hope. Yeah, I mean, I, you've been here for every single time we've met David uh, up until this point. There was the first time at the mountain, uh, there was the second time at the wind trial, and this was the third time. Uh, because I didn't do the wind trial last, last time around, it actually, uh, it was much longer before I got to see him again. But now it's like back to back, like wind trial, Pendrago. Is it nighttime now? Yep. Alright, we're gonna sneak into the castle. Cool. Apparently, the person that uh, asked the scattered bones to do a job for them is like their arch enemy or something. I forget who it was. Because they were using way too many. They, they were describing way too many people who don't matter. It's like, you remember the king's brother's uncle's nephew's sister, and then her other brother, which got into a fight over secession, and the chancellor that didn't like that. That smell. That Is was the herbs? entire conversation that they were talking about. I, I didn't make any fucking sense to me. Basically, there's like some blood struggle going on in the royal family right now. And there's like a direct descendant who wants to, who, who will ascend to the throne, but then one of the royal family members is adopting another family member, thus making them the next person to, uh, to rise to the throne. And that's causing a whole bit of skadoodle. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It was literally, it was literally just flavor text. So we're going to the castle. The castle's not even on the map though. Like, that's the shrine. That's the shrine church over here and that's the stage over there. You can't even go to the castle. You can't do that in, in Ladylike either to be fair. Is this where we're going? No it is not. I can't remember how we started this event. We have to try to leave the city, I think. It's a story event. Very big story event. There you go. Hey, Pete, what do you think happens in this story event? What's your wild and crazy guess? Because I guarantee you, you're not going to get it right. Well, I shouldn't say that. Maybe you'll get it right. I'm not going to tell you if you get it right or not until after. But uh, you can throw your crazy ass guess out there. Jeez, you're a brutal man. I thought I was the one with the pension for killing off fictional characters. I do it all the damn time. You remember Janex's origin story? Her origin story is that everybody else except her died. And I'm like, oh wait, I should probably create a bunch of original characters to surround her with. Okay, and now they're all dead. Chill out on the caps. Oh, here we go. Well, if it ain't the boss. Welcome, welcome. Lunar. But you look like a Hellion. <laughs> oh dear, look at that face. You're scaring me, boss. We don't have time to toy with the likes of it's you. It's been 10,000 years. I'll settle this right here and now. <laughs> what exquisite anger. It makes me so hungry. Here he comes. You remember the last time we fought this guy? Literally at the beginning of the game. The malevolence he emits is incredibly strong. You mean it's just like with the Cardinal before? <sighs> Don't think about anything else until we beat it. Got it. Wow. 
Wow, Rose is going in. That was radiant, she does not trust. Suppose I could learn from your level of I, I upped the difficulty again, right? I don't think I did. Oops. Damn it! Still that not fight's enough. easy no matter what difficulty, though. It's the end of the line, Lunar. No! Got it! Uh oh. What is this feeling? Watch out! There's it's a domain! Might you refrain from acting out of turn? That voice! Shut up! Don't interfere with me! Foolish, reckless fox. Your role was to lead them on, if you recall. If you act recklessly and provoke his anger, what will we do then? <sighs> Wait! This wasn't the plan, but I'm flexible. Whoa! What the... Oh, uh, wait, uh, we're still fighting? Apparently we're still fighting. Such a vile betrayal. Then that so called job offer. It was a trap! Damn it. Quit messing around and show yourself! <laughs> What's your hurry? Relax. This is just the opening act. I'll relax when you're good and dead. Aggressive, Dezel. Dezel. A little Do aggressive. You know whose voice that is? How could I forget? That's who I've been after for so long. What? Haven't you noticed, Lila? I have. There is no malevolence within this domain. Meaning that whoever's generating this isn't a Hellion. What could this mean? That whoever's generating this isn't a... Saray, were you listening? Were you fucking listening? Enough, all right. Come on. Let me out. His will is not to be ignored. Do I make myself clear? Yes. I I'm sorry. It has been a long time since we've seen Lunara, though. Just, she had to check if it was a dream, and now she's in pain. All right, then. Lunar! Hey, everything's back to normal. Ish. What is going on? Rather productive for an opening act. What splendid anger you've shown me, girl. If it should blossom into hatred. Oh, but how happy he will be. Who is she? I've waited so long. Indeed, the time is ripe. She was in one of the Earth and Historia, if you remember. Wait, Dazzle! She's not a Hellion! Like I give a damn. You turn my friends into Hellions and drag the name of the Windriders through the mud? What are you talking about, Dazzle? <laughs> Do you mean to say that the girl still doesn't know? D Splendid. Oh, how splendid. <laughs> the perfect scene has been set. Jessel, no! Let me go. This moment is what I've been living for. Everyone stop. This whole thing is wrong. Saray, Jessel, what's going A on? A lot of things. Dear, A lot of dear things. girl, let me fill you in. In a desperate effort to preserve and continue the Windriders, who were his last concrete connection to his dead comrade. 
This seraph abused your remarkable resonance to periodically commandeer your body, steering you all into the darkness, recreating the Wind Riders as an assassin's guild. <clears throat> then, in his quest to kill a Hellion, he set his sights on the power of the Armatus, using you over and over as a vessel to enact his vengeance. It was all right, he thought. It was all to avenge his friend. I do wonder if you agree. <sighs> That's right. And to take my revenge against you, I would do it all again in a heartbeat. That's not what you're supposed to say, Dezel. That's enough, creepy little girl, for now. But I'm with that yeah, on this one. There's something wrong about all of this. Let's get out of here. I think not. She became a Hellion? Why? If words alone won't make you remember. Well, like I said, I'm flexible. So. You show your true colors at last. Dang it! Also, she and uh, uh, she was also the person who was next to um, what's his name? Held off in a few cutscenes when they were when they were creeping on us. I don't know if you remember that. Hughes face. Oh, that's a that's a charming name no, for a charming fellow. Kill you. That's the only reason I live. Uh, oh, how lost you are in the illusion of self-affirmation. What are you saying? It's quite pitiful, really, though I do understand how you got like this. Think hard. What was it that you truly desired? Back then, how and why did you lose your friend after killing a Hellion? What happens to its malevolence? Are you really so sure you want... Lila, get ready to purify her! Not this time. I'm gonna kill her! Dizzle! What? You mustn't! There's no other way. No! He's broken the path? Could he do that? Dazzle! Tisk, tisk. I can't let you do that. What? But why? Saray, this isn't the time. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Gosh dang, she's really creepy. Simone is her name, by the way. Uh, I, I don't. Like, it's not really a spoiler. They'll say it at some point. I don't even know if she's actually been directly named yet. I don't think so. when it looked like you'd suddenly turned into a hellion, precisely. So for the record, the hellion is real. She has a lot of illusionary powers. As is obvious. She's the one who made the uh, the uh, Fox Boy clones as well. I can't. The Sublord has broken the pact. Can that even be done? Not usually. Not usually. Well, uh, that just means that Dezel's very determined. He broke the pact. That's cheating, Dezel. Big time cheating. Tell me what it is you're after. There is something you should know, Shepard. What? Let me show you exactly what mischief your Seraph friend has wrought. All he did was merely give his blessing. That's all. But not every blessing of the Seraphim is one that brings fortune to the people. Finally. Finally, I can kill you! Die! I really, really enjoy traveling with them. We're so lucky. Yeah, I'm truly grateful. And of course, I want to bring the Wind Riders under Rolens's wing. You're the greatest in the land. But engagement to you, Prince Conan? It's like a dream. I'm sorry to see our journey end, but all's well that ends well. No. I don't want this to end. Ah yes, the Wind Riders. Don't let up out Remember there. that? Good times. Go! 
Prince Conan, the captain is missing! Get away from her right now! <laughs> Who are you to order me around? He's... he's already a hellion! Huh? Who are you talking to? You all smell so... so delicious! It's driving me wild! It's like they say, not everybody can see uh, Sarah's, but they're always How hanging can you with them. completely turn into a hellion in such a short amount of time? So, like, Dazzle and his comrade there have been hanging around the... Windriders their whole time. Your Highness, what is this nonsense about us killing the first Imperial Prince? Guards! The traitor scum are here! A trap, huh? You sick lunatic. How can this be? It appears that Brad, the leader of the Windriders, has murdered the Prince. He is already in custody of the Pendrago City Guard. All other Windriders are likewise under arrest. Understand? It's all because Prince Conan became a Hellion. And at the urging of his Hellion greed, he sought to eliminate all hindrances. And by now, I imagine that you've already guessed what made him a Hellion. Have you not? Him. I might be willing to pardon you, at least, if you agree to be creepy. mine. What? <laughs> oh, come now. You'd be the kept woman of the heir to the throne. A greater honor does not exist. <sighs> Why you? I definitely think you should... Come on. Consider all options. Your blessing. Do you have any idea what people call those with this kind of power? Angels of death. It was all my fault. All my fault. Looks like someone finally remembers his past. One of you was bad enough. Rose! Jezel! Move it! <laughs> and now the real fun starts, Shepard. Pay close attention. Okay, so what the fuck do I do? Attack now. Rose will If we don't do anything, Rose will become a Hellion. Except her wounds will kill her even before that happens. A Shepherd is faced with what? difficult choices sometimes. Isn't that right? Better decide what? quickly, Shepherd. Your darling comedian doesn't have long. Silence! Gosh, this thing is still the nastiest thing in the whole damn world. We're gonna have to hold it sorry. Get back for a moment. Oh, you have a plan, Dezel. Your last plan went swimmingly. A 
Shepard. Do quit your desperate flailing about. You risk making a mess of the grand stage I spent all this time preparing. Shut up! Sorry. Listen. Dessel, don't push yourself. Just listen to me. We have to sever the bond between Rose and the Hellion. Even for the Shepherd, that would be nothing short of a miracle. It's impossible. Sorry. Hand me that thing you cut from Savid. It can fire strength itself, right? And I shall be that strength. I shall be your attack. What do you mean? Even as he is absorbed into the Hellion, he'll become an attack with a will of its own. He'll find the bond between Rose and the Hellion and sever it without hurting her body. But that's just suicide! If I can summon up the last reserves of my strength, and merge them with the power stored in this one remaining bullet, I can stay myself long enough to break the bond while leaving Rose untouched. Saray, neither Rose nor I can afford to waste any more time. <laughs> you understand, don't you? Jessel? No! Counting on you. Don't mess this up! All right, fuse face, you motherfucker. While wind armor tries to press L1. I told you this shit wasn't gonna get any. This is a big event. Rose. I'm so sorry. It was me. I caused you, the Windriders, everyone to suffer. It's all my fault. That's what was bugging you? I suppose from the outside it looked like we were suffering. But as far as I'm concerned, these have been the happiest years of my life. Five years ago, when everything went pear-shaped, we could have been tossed to the winds. But instead, we got to travel again together as the scattered bones and the sparrow feathers. I was so happy. In fact, I'm grateful to you. Really. Hey, come on. There's got to be more you want to say. I'm useless. In the end, I wasn't good for a damn thing. But I can say I did one thing right. Just one. And that one right thing made everything else worthwhile. I'm eternally grateful to you too, Rose. Thank you. Yeah! Tell Saray and the others. That it wasn't all bad. Romping around those ruins with all those nutballs. I will. And if they get bummed out about this, tell them, hey, I thought you had good to do in the world. Keep moping and crying, and I'll chain you up so tight you can't even breathe. And then give them a good kick in the ass for me. Yeah. Good luck out there. Keep on keeping on. Yeah! Rose! Oh, thank goodness!
So, how does it feel? What do you think, Shepard? To be as infatuated with someone as he once was? Is it not right that Seraphim, whose blessings only cause misfortune, should not be allowed to exist? Was not his very existence evil to the core, and deserving of extermination? Lies! You've got quite a bark, girl. Those are some plucky words from one who once sought to kill the Shepherd for the same reasons. <laughs> who are you anyway? I am Simone. Like him, a wretched, pitiable Seraph, burdened with countless sins. <sighs> and now, Exeunt. Wait! I suggest you make time to grieve. I told everyone to meet here tomorrow morning. Sometimes it's best to be alone for a while. Thanks, Miklio. Saray, don't worry about it too much. <laughs> I need a bit of a walk myself. So that's like... One of the big parts of this game. So there's two other parts of this game that I would consider big. There was this one. There is the rematch at Glaven Basin, which is coming up later, 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 later. And then there's the end of the game. Uh, on a scale of pretty boring to really good, uh, this one falls right in the middle. It has some issues, I will say. Uh, the key thing being when I originally watched the cut, the flashback, the flashback to uh, Dezel and his comrade uh, and the Wind Riders, I had no idea what was going on. I didn't get it. And now, I, like, I was trying to stay quiet and listen to see, like, what I missed. And I think I get it a little bit more, but they just weren't really clear about enough, in my opinion. Dezel's death. His shameful acts, and the things Simone said. Perhaps they're all things the Shepherd has to accept in order to quell the Lord of Calamity. I'm just not sure how to feel about it all. I was thinking you should quit. What? Just hear me out. I used to think that when the Shepherd was getting crushed and overwhelmed by his duty or by his destiny, that it was something that you could just up and quit. Until yesterday, that is. Things are different now. For Dezel's sake, if nothing else, I want to find the answers. That's right. It isn't even some feeling of obligation so much as... I just want to know, in the hope that we won't make the same mistakes again. So that's why I no longer think you should quit. We definitely have to find some answers. Right. And it isn't just the Shepherd's duty either. This journey is something we, all of us, need to own. That's true. Thank you. There's no need for thanks. I just said how I truly feel. In case you weren't clear about one thing, Mikleo just told us right there. Dezel's gone. All right? He's dead. So you were right. Your one prediction was right, someone dies. Uh, so we're done with Dezel. Lost our wind, Seraph. Shit out of luck. Nothing we can do about that. Oh, I see Lila up there. Okay, that's who this is. Oh, by the way, um, we will see Lunaire again. We 
When? Your guess is as good as mine. Our friend, the creepy little girl, she said she was burdened with sins. Right. And she also said that the shepherd must know the truth of Seraphim, who carries such sorrowful burdens. Of those whose mere existence means human suffering. Sometimes death can be a release. If just by living, one causes terrible things to happen, then death would be... Edna, stop right there! I'm not talking about Dazzle, you idiot. You shouldn't be saying that about your brother, either. So what if I did? They're just words. It's probably nothing you haven't heard before, anyway. I still don't like it. I don't want to hear it right now. Oh. Then there's nothing to discuss. Yeah. Saray. All I was really trying to say is that I think Dazzle was saved in a way. I chose my words poorly, and it was wrong of me. I apologize. Thank you, Edna. Don't mention it. Lila, what are you doing? Oh, this? That's incredible! How'd you do that? Making paper crafts like this really takes the edge off for me. I forget about all my cares, and it's like I just enter my own little world. I see. Saray, you've got to stop carrying the burden all by yourself. I think this one's gonna be tough, even if I share the burden. I find myself wondering, was there anything else I could have done? Should we have talked it over first? I just start thinking about things. Moments of reflection are good for the spirit, Saray. But regrets solve nothing. What's this? Humans have a custom. Sometimes they send a paper boat down a river imbued with a remembrance of their lost one, so that it may reach them. Since Dezel was a wind seraph, I thought maybe a bird that soars through the air would be more fitting. Now, Saray, let's send it off. I'm sure it reached him. Lila. Yes? Thank you. But you mustn't try to carry the burden all by yourself either. I'll be quite fine. There's no need to worry. I'm going to stay up here for a while. The wind feels comforting. All right then. I'll leave you to it. Okay. I, too, have a ways to go. So it's not just me, right? Or maybe it is just, maybe I'm just dumb. But the, the Wind Rider fl- <coughs> Oh, sorry. That hurt. The Wind Rider flashback still... Still got me. There's just something about it that doesn't feel completely fleshed out. If that makes any sense. Oh hey, it's Zavid. Hey, Shepard. Tell me something. How was Dezel in his last moments? He was smiling. So he was, was he? I guess he got his wish after all. Zavid, you knew Dezel, didn't you? Sort of. There was a time my comrades and I saved him. 
when he was just a little rascal. Oh, is that why your fighting styles are so similar? Yep, he learned by copying me. And yet, I don't think he even remembered who I was. That fellow tossed everything away, even his memories. Hmm. <laughs> but if something gets thrown away, you just gotta find it again. And you found it for him, didn't you? Hey, are you trying to comfort me, Zavid? You bet I am. You're gonna be my all-important vessel pretty soon. Can't have you getting all malevolent on me. Huh? And on that note, I think I'll go talk to Lila about that Sublord Pact. You gotta be kidding me! Well, I can't exterminate the Hellions all by myself anymore, can I? And besides, if I tag along with you, I can collect your debt to me whenever I like. You can't just decide something like that! Oops, I did. Anyway, see you tomorrow, Sheps. And thus the decision that was made. Lousy. Zavid says it goes. And so yeah, that was a very the conversation was a very clever way of being like, yeah, um You need a win serve still to keep playing the game, so here you go. There, I spoke with Dezel during his last moments. And when I saw him then, I remembered something that I'd forgotten long ago. I had met him before, when I was really little. I realized he'd probably been protecting me ever since, my whole life. Rose, Dezel didn't want you to know that. He said he wanted you to live believing you'd come this far by your strength alone. Yeah, I'm sure that's what he wanted. But I actually wish he'd just straight up told me, without knowing I was a jerk, self-absorbed and totally ungrateful to him. Sorry. From now on, you gotta tell me these things, alright? Right. This is actually a load off my mind. I was worried you'd be, you know, devastated. Yeah, I don't know. A whole lot of things happened all at once. And somehow, it doesn't feel like I'll never see him again. And the garbage that crazy Simone chick was spouting? I think it says more about her problems than anything else. Rose, you're my hero. Oh, I just don't like to think too much. <laughs> anyway, Saray, you get some good rest. I will. Nothing really gets her down, doesn't it? I think all nearly dying and she's still, you know, happy. True enough, they probably could have waited a bit more. But, uh, like, Dezel, he's he was linked to your uh, wind ability. Um, the one that lets you quick step. And there are a lot of areas in this game that that is uh, necessary to use. Especially since it's like the second ability you get. So having you without it for a while, they probably thought was a bad idea. And Zavid has already been established in the game as being a wind seraph and fairly important. So it's a pretty easy choice to uh, pop Zavid into the game right away. And uh, have him fill in your spot as a... As your new Windsor. Yeah, I mean, my issues with this, with with this sequence have a lot less to do with David coming in, and more to do with just a uh, little haziness. Like I don't know what they mean by who caused all this. You did to Dezel. Like how did he cause it? Like, how is, he a sh how is he a seraph that brings misfortune? How is he an angel of death? How does that happen? Why is he like that? All the other seraph... Because, like, it, it would make more sense if seraph represented something. Like, if each and every seraph had something that was a part of them. 
It's like in Red vs. Blue, all the AI in that show are based off of a human emotion. So one, or a human concept. So one was creativity, one was rage, one was uh, logic, one was, um, one was deceit, and all that kind of stuff. And so like, if all the Seraphs had an individual thing that they represented, then it would make more sense. Like if Mick Leo was, I don't know, uh, kindness, let's say, and Edno was uh, stubbornness, something like that. And then Dezel was misfortune, if that was his thing, then that would make sense. And that would be like a big reveal that we didn't know, that he just naturally causes bad things to happen because of his existence. But that was never established as a thing that Seraph do. Seraph are just Seraph. They're just beings that live in this world that uh, normal people can't see. And Seraph are able to grant places their blessings um, because that's just what they do. And the blessings help keep the place pure and clean of malevolence. So, um, uh, Maltellus's blessing covers the entire continent. Uh, Gramps' blessing covers the mountain. Um, the cat's blessing covers Pendrago. So on and so on. So I guess what they're saying is that Dezel put his blessing on the Wind Riders to cover them, but his blessing was bad, and it caused them to be shrouded in malevolence. Because he was the reason why the prince that creepy prince dude became creepy and a hellion somehow Dezel caused that but how why is he a seraph that causes misfortune how why is that a thing Simone is also one but why you see that's my big issue with it assuming that I'm understanding everything from that flashback correctly Saray, did you sleep well? Yeah. You don't look like it. Yo, Saray. Oh, Zavid, you're still here. Ouch, Lila, is he always this cold? That was what I was about to say. Well, it looks like everyone's A little here. uncalled for. Care to explain why you wish to enter the Sublord Pact? No problemo. My goal is directly connected to the Shepherd's journey. Your goal? Oh yeah, you said there were people you had to settle the score with. Right, one of them being little Miss Edna's older brother. And the other? Mautelis. Mautelis of the Five Lords? The entire Glenwood continent is supposed to be under his protection, right? Except our baby boy toddled off somewhere, and right at that exact time, the Lord of Calamity shows up. Isn't that funny? It can't be. I didn't think it could be either, at first. But if Maltellus really did become a Hellion and bind with Heldolf... We'll need to confirm that's what happened. And the only way to do that... ...is to approach him directly. Maybe. But we need to be able to stand against Heldolf's domain. Or we're sunk. And that's where I come in. If you'll let me fill the Dezel-shaped hole in your group, together we should be strong enough. How about it? It's in all our best interests, right? What do you believe we should do? Saray! No! Uh, what were we talking about again? Hey, can I have the floor? Huh? Hey! I thought you had good to do in the world! Keep moping and crying, and I'll chain you up so tight you can't even breathe! That's what he said. Oh, and he asked me to kick your ass a little too while I was at it. And then I... I told him... I'd do my best out there. And so that's why, that's why I'm damn well going to do my best out there. <laughs> why? Why am I crying like this? Rose. He was really, really glad he got to travel with all of you. 
And I... I didn't even notice. But in the end, he was smiling. If only I talked with him more. Oh, forget it. I'm done. Thank you for delivering his message to us. He was a kind watchdog up until the very end. I'll say. Guess you'll be okay from now on, huh, Rose? I'm okay. Are you okay? All right, let's go. Hold your horses. Don't I get a packed thingy? No. Oh. Alrighty. So, now what do we do? Just as planned. We're heading to Glavend Basin. Since it's the place where we first met Heldolf. Glavend Basin, huh? Here we go. And there we go. Check it out. Zavi joins the party. Now wearing Dezel's hat. Awesome. All right then. All right then. So give me a moment while uh, we wrap. We're gonna cut right here for YouTube. Since we reached the end of the whole Dezel thing. And uh, say goodbye to our Wind Seraph. And then we're heading to Glavin Basin on the next video. So uh, see y'all then. Hope you keep watching.